Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, October 27th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. JetBlue Airways' Northeast Alliance with American Airlines was the subject of a lawsuit filed by the U.S. Department of Justice last month, which claimed it was a merger and would harm competition. However, the two carriers have come out strongly in defense of the partnership, writes Madhu Anikrishnan, editor of Airline Weekly, a Skift brand. The Northeast Alliance enabled JetBlue and American to sell tickets on each other's flights, reciprocate loyalty program benefits, and coordinate schedules. But the DOJ said in a suit it filed in federal court that the alliance would eliminate the competition between the two carriers that caused lower fares for consumers traveling to and from several major airports, especially in the New York City area. Executives from both carriers have refuted the claims made in the suit, as JetBlue President Joanna Garrity said the alliance brings a third competitor to the region, which her colleague, CEO Robin Hayes, says has been historically dominated by Delta Airlines and United Airlines. Hayes said on Tuesday the partnership will allow both JetBlue and American to operate up to 500 daily flights next month, with 300 of those being flown by JetBlue. Next, we take a look at another partnership. German-based accommodation search engine Trivago has teamed up with Chinese smartphone maker Huawei to create travel products in the latter company's mobile services platform, reports executive editor Dennis Schall. The partnership will also see Trivago help launch Huawei's paid hotel search business, as well as feature a new Trivago app in Huawei's App Store. Furthermore, the alliance includes the two companies' develop accommodations listings in Huawei's MetaSearch product. And we end today with the growing impact of technology on hotels, this time with respect to design. The hotel industry's increasing emphasis on using smartphones for experiences like check-in and check-out could significantly alter the layout of future properties, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spirance. Numerous areas of hotels, including lobbies, could be remodeled in years to come as less space is needed for matters like in-person registration, as guests can virtually check themselves in. Rami Zaidan, CEO of hotel operator and technology company Lifehouse, told Skiff that even more space and lobbies could be reserved for places that generate revenue, such as restaurants and bars, instead of vast check-in areas. In addition, hotels could feature fewer gyms in the future. Zaidan said the pandemic led to the creation of an Apple TV product that provides custom in-person fitness exercises, which he believes eliminates the needs for gyms. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skiff.com daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.